but we got to see some money. So I would, say, I would say this to that. I would say you need to mix, mix, mix and match. What I mean is, okay, you have what you have, or you have a model that you're using for your ROI, but you do need to have a certain portion to focus on creative music. You need to have, whether it's an incubator label uh, or to designate it just for this so that you could create th that kind of music. So you could create that. You could create that foundation. Yeah, you can have your other stuff that you're just putting out and whatever the case may be, but you need to have something in development. And I think that's what's missing. We're missing development. So, so I thought that's what labels were doing, right? When you talk about like the empires and, you know, some of the other labels that, you know, the 300s and so forth and so on. Like, wasn't that supposed to be the situation where they were supposed to be developing, nurturing, and as incubator talent for these labels? And then you had the other side of the situation that was basically saying, okay, we got the ones that are nurturing, developing artists. Then we got the other one that's basically going to be signing artists based off of whatever the metrics were showing online. And we were using that for quick flips in case something hit, right? Shotgun approach in case something stuck off the wall. But we still had this incubator on the left that said, okay, like Universal Republic and stuff like that. Still had the, the orchard and we still have this thing on the left that's going to help to find that next superstar, that next megastar. Well, what's, what's happening is even those incubators are being like, they're just doing a shotgun thing with the incubators. They're just grabbing anything instead of just saying, okay, we're going to focus on these five acts. 